Hello. I am today going to be making um, moussaka. It's a Greek dish. I've never made it before. So uh, right now I am going to slice the eggplants. There, I have two eggplants here. And uh, then salt them and uh, let them sweat. So what I've done is I cut the end off and then I cut a small slice here only be simply because then um, it's easier for me to actually uh, slice the air eggplant. So I'm going to slice them. I'm sure this is extremely boring for you to watch. So I won't bore you with watching me slice two eggplants. But that's what I'm doing now, is I'm slicing two eggplants, setting them up in a dish with salt and allowing them to sweat for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna move on to the um, sauce. And as I said, I've never made this before, so it'll be an adventure. And it looks like summer has finally arrived in Birch Bay. It's beautiful today, the sun is out, 70 some odd degrees. It's just perfect. So I will be back with the uh, next step. The eggplant are resting here. I've got three trays of them. So two eggplant, two large eggplants. And then, um, Right now what I'm doing is in this pot, I have two large russet potatoes. It's sliced very thinly. And because I am pre-diabetic and these have a better uh, glycemic index, I've also sliced up a half a, of a sweet potato. So these are gonna come to a boil and uh, they'll be ready then to be um, layered when the time comes. Next stage. Okay, the, um, I broiled the eggplant, just so it's a little charred, and then layering all the eggplant in a um, nine by 13, like that you would use for, um, you know, a lasagna pan. Now, in this pan here, I have charred, charred, I've charred the eggplant. I've sauteed some onions and then added a pound of ground beef. Now, you could use lamb or ground beef. I didn't have lamb. I guess lamb would be keeping more with the traditional Greek um, way. But here I have um, onions and ground beef. And now I'm going to add oregano, cinnamon, nutmeg, smoked paprika, some pepper, and then put in a, some wine and a um, 14 ounce tin of diced tomatoes. So I'll be back. So I've added the red wine and then you just let it simmer for a minute or so just to reduce a little bit. And then I added a tin of diced tomatoes and we're just going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes to let all the flavors melt together. And while that's happening, I'm going to uh, prepare the cheese. Um, layer that goes with with the potatoes also. I'll be back again. The meat and tomato and wine and spices has been simmering for about half an hour. So what I'm going to do right now is layer the meat on top of the eggplant. It's 
smells good. So let's just hope it tastes good. I've never made this before. And it has spices that I would not typically use with meat, like cinnamon and nutmeg. This is not, um, you know, sort of standard for our way of cooking, but let's try something new. And here we go, layering all that. And I think the next step now is to layer. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at the recipe. The meat and then the potato slices. So the potato slices already cooked. I sliced the potatoes thinly. And boiled them just enough so that they're soft, but not fully cooked. And it says here that I should be um, I guess the cheese goes over top of the potatoes. So there we go. So we'll start layering the potatoes on the dish. And I won't bore you with that. So once that's done, I'll come back and show you the next step. So I layered all the potatoes and at one end I put the um, sweet potatoes, just because those are the ones that I'm preferring rather than the um, russet potatoes. And in this bowl here, whipped together, I have Greek yogurt, ricotta cheese, um, three eggs, and some feta. And now it tells me that I'm supposed to just put this on top of all these potatoes. And then once that's done, we put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. Because these potatoes, you know, the potatoes are partially cooked, so is the meat, and also um, the eggplant. So there's not a whole heck of a lot left to cook. You're basically just warming it all up. Well, this looks really good. yummy actually and I hope it tastes I hope it tastes as good as it looks gosh look at that and all that cheese oh did I mention that I also sprinkled the potatoes with some breadcrumbs because that's what the recipe told me to do so we'll see and also you know I may have mentioned in one of my other videos that um, the first time I make a recipe, I follow it to the letter, and then next time I might adjust the seasonings um, more to our preference. So we will show you the finished product. And how is that? for a healthy dinner. Salad and moussaka. It looks delicious, smells delicious, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious.